The seven vials, found in Revelation chapters 15 and 16, are an integral part of John's vision, depicting the final outpouring of God's judgment upon the earth during the period known as the Great Tribulation. Then I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire, and those who have the victory over the beast, over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, standing on the sea of glass, having harps of God. They sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. After they sang, I looked and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened, and out of the temple came the seven angels having the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, and having their chests girded with golden bands. Then one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who lives forever and ever. The temple was full with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no one was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the angels, Go and pour out the bowls of the wrath of God on the earth. The first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and harmful and painful sores came upon the people who bore the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. This vial signifies the manifestation of loathsome sores upon those who have embraced the Antichrist's reign and rejected God's truth. It serves as a vivid reminder of the consequences of aligning oneself with evil. The second angel poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became like the blood of a corpse, and every living thing died that was in the sea. This vial represents a devastating catastrophe as the waters turn into blood, signifying the annihilation of marine life. It highlights the judgment upon those who have participated in the destruction of God's creation and the disregard for the sanctity of life. The third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters saying, You are righteous, O Lord, the one who is and who was and who is to be, because you have judged these things. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink, for it is their just due. And I hear another from the altar saying, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are your judgments. This vial intensifies the previous judgment upon the wicked. The waters of the earth, representing sustenance and purity, are transformed into blood. It demonstrates that those who have persecuted and shed the blood of God's faithful will experience divine retribution. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were scorched by the fierce heat, and they blasphemed the name of God who had power over these plagues, and they did not repent and give him glory. This vial brings intense heat upon humanity, symbolizing divine judgment upon those who have rejected God's mercy and persisted in their rebellion. The scorching sun becomes a relentless tormentor, leading people to curse their creator instead of seeking repentance. The fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and its kingdom was plunged into darkness. People gnawed their tongues in anguish and cursed the God of heaven for their pain and sores. They did not repent of their deeds. The fifth vial brings darkness upon the kingdom of the beast, plunging it into chaos and despair. Rather than turning to God in repentance, the people continue to rebel, nursing their anguish and cursing their maker. It reveals the hardness of their hearts and their refusal to acknowledge divine authority. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. This vial signifies the gathering of the nations for the Battle of Armageddon. The drying up of the Euphrates River creates a path for the kings of the east, leading to a final confrontation between the forces of good and evil. It symbolizes the culmination of human rebellion against God and the ultimate judgment that awaits. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and out of the temple came a loud voice from the throne saying, It is done! Then there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, and a severe earthquake. No earthquake like ever before since mankind has been on earth. The great city split in three parts, and the cities of the nations collapsed. God remembered Babylon the Great, and gave her the cup filled with the wine of the fury of his wrath. Every island fled away and the mountains could not be found. From the sky, huge hailstones, each weighing about 100 pounds, fell on people. And they cursed God on account of the plague of hail, because the plague was so terrible. 
The seventh vial is significant as it signifies the final and complete pouring out of God's wrath upon the earth. As we conclude our journey through the seven vials, we are reminded of the profound significance of these events. While they depict a period of intense turmoil and judgment, they also serve as a call to repentance and a testament to God's justice.